taxonomic categories classification is not a single step process but involves hierarchy of steps in which each step represents a rank or category since the category is as part of overall taxonomic arrangement it is called the taxonomic category and all categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy each category referred to as unit of classification in fact represents a rank and is commonly termed as taxon and the plural form of taxon is taxa taxonomic categories and hierarchy can be illustrated by an example insects represent a group of organisms sharing common features like three pairs of jointed legs it means insects are recognizable concrete objects which can be classified and thus were given a rank or category can you name other such groups of organisms remember groups represent category category further denotes rank each rank or taxon in fact represents a unit of classification these taxonomic groups or categories are distinct biological entities and not merely morphological aggregates taxonomical studies of all known organisms have led to the development of common categories such as kingdom phylum or division for plants class order family genus and species all organisms including those in the plant and animal kingdoms have species as the lowest category now the question you may ask is how to place an organism in various categories the basic requirement is the knowledge of characters of an individual or groups of organisms this helps in identifying similarities and dissimilarities among the individuals of the same kind of organisms as well as of other kinds of organisms first one species taxonomic studies consider a group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities as a species one should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences let us consider mangifera indica solanum tuberosum which is potato and panthera leo which is lion all the three names indica tuberosum and leo represent the specific epithets while the first words mangifera solanum and panthera are genera and represents another higher level of taxon or category each genus may have one or more than one specific epithets representing different organisms but having morphological similarities for example panthera has another specific epithet called tigris and solanum includes species like nigrum and melogena human beings belong to the species sapiens which is grouped in the genus homo the scientific name thus for human being is written as homo sapiens second one genus genus comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera we can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species for example potato and brinjal are two different species but both belong to the genus solanum lion which is panthera leo leopard which is panthera paradis and tiger which is panthera tigris with several common features are all species of the genus panthera this genus differs from another genus felis 
which includes cats third one family the next category family has a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species families are characterized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features of plant species among plants for example three different genera solanum petunia and datura are placed in the family solanaceae among animals for example genus panthera comprising lion tiger leopard is put along with genus felis which is cats in the family felidae similarly if you observe the features of a cat and a dog you will find some similarities and some differences as well they are separated into two different families felidae and canidae respectively fourth one order you have seen earlier that categories like species genus and families are based on a number of similar characters generally order and other higher taxonomic categories are identified based on the aggregates of characters order being a higher category is the assemblage of families which exhibit a fewer similar characters the similar characters are less in number as compared to different genera included in a family plant families like convolvulaceae solanaceae are included in the order polymonials mainly based on the floral characters the animal order carnivora includes families like felidae and canidae fifth one class this category includes related orders for example order primata comprising monkey gorilla and gibbon is placed in class mammalia along with order carnivora that includes animals like tiger cat and dog class mammalia has other orders also sixth one phylum classes comprising animals like fishes amphibians reptiles birds along with mammals constitute the next higher category called phylum all these based on the common features like presence of notochord and dorsal hollow neural system are included in phylum chordata in case of plants classes with a fewer similar characters are assigned to a higher category called division seventh one all animals belonging to various phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom animalia in the classification system of animals the kingdom plantae on the other hand is distinct and comprises all plants from various divisions henceforth we will refer to these two groups as animals and plant kingdoms the taxonomic categories from species to kingdom have been shown in ascending order starting with species in figure 1.1 these are broad categories however taxonomists have also developed subcategories in the hierarchy to facilitate more sound and scientific placement of various taxa look at the hierarchy in figure 1.1 can you recall the basis of arrangement say for example as we go higher from species to kingdom the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing lower the taxa more are the characters that the members within the taxon share higher the category greater is the difficulty of determining the relationships to other taxa at the same level 
Hence, the problem of classification becomes more complex. Table 1.1 indicates the taxonomic categories to which some common organisms like housefly, man, mango, and wheat belong. Table 1.1 Organisms with their taxonomic categories The common name is man. The biological name of man is Homo sapiens. The genus is Homo. Family is Homonidae. Order is Primata. Class is Mammalia. And phylum or division is Chordata. Since it is man, therefore it is phylum. Housefly The biological name is Musca domestica. Genus name is Musca. Family is Muscidae. Order is Diptera. Class is Insecta. And phylum is Arthropoda. Mango. Biological name is Mangifera indica. Genus is Mangifera. Family is Anacardiaceae. Order is Sapindales. Class is Dicotyledonae. And division is Angiosperm. Wheat. Biological name is Triticum estivum. Genus name is Triticum. Family is Poaceae. Order is Poales. Class is Monocotyledonae. And division is Angiosperm.